A team of international astronomers have detected an exploding star that's thought to be the oldest and most distant object ever detected in the universe. The explosion happened just 520 million years after the Big Bang, not very long in astronomical terms, which makes it one of the earliest stars of the universe. What happened is, and stay with me here, is known as a gamma ray burst, a sudden burst of intense light. And that light was detected by NASA's Swift satellite in 2009, which means it took those light rays, a record breaking 13.14 billion years to reach Earth. To help us make some sense of all of this, I am joined by Dr. Antonino Gucciara the, of the University of California in Berkeley, who was one of the lead researchers on this project. He joins me now from Boston. And um, Dr. Nino, and you've given me permission to call you Dr. Nino. You know, I uh, was probably an E or an F student in, 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 in science. So help me understand the significance of this event, what we're reporting here this evening. Sure. Well, it's a very critical uh, discovery, I think, because uh, we are uh, trying to understand what happened in the first uh, 600 million years after the Big Bang. It's an era where a lot of uh, uh, things happen. Um, we have the base of uh, the current universe. So understanding what happened at that time, uh, how the first star were born, how the first galaxy were formed, it's critical to understand uh, the everyday universe that we see uh, close by. So. We are reaching now with the technology, with the Swiss satellite and future missions and uh, you know, deep service with the Hubble Space Telescope to try to understand. We are reaching the point to understand uh, what's happening at that time. What exactly are, are you learning? For example, look, I, I'm reading a, a bit of the, the press on this, and it says scientists believe the blast uh, occurred some 520 million years after the Big Bang. How on earth are you able, and this has something to do with the technology to be sure, how on earth are you able to measure that? Well, uh, these objects that explode, in particular gamma ray bursts, are thought to be uh, big stars, like 30, 40 times solar masses. Uh, I mean, 30, 40 times our sun. Hmm. So we are, we believe that these uh, these stars are probably originating in the early universe as well. Um, we what we we observe uh, is the the first light the, of this explosion, which uh, it happens to be in the gamma rays, and the Swiss satellite is very. Uh, the, is very suitable for this purpose because it was built exactly for this to detect the gamma ray burst. Now these objects uh, are explosions, so they are stars are exploding and they disappear very quickly. The Swiss satellite is able to move in a time scale of minutes in the direction of the explosion and at the same time send down on Earth via text messages and emails the position. Yeah to every group is interested in this kind of science. What we did with, uh, with our facilities on the ground was as soon as we got these messages from the spacecraft, we requested observation from the Gemini telescopes in Hawaii, uh, and we observed in the position where the satellite pointed us uh, to detect these uh, gamma ray bursts as soon as possible. Okay, Dr. Nino, uh, thank you for your time. I'm just happy no one's gonna be quizzing me on what you've just shared with me. Thank you, it's good to see you. Thanks a lot.